In a recent video on the Raspberry Pi Pico, I created a 3D model and I animated that as part of my video. In this video, I'm going to show how I created that animation using FreeCAD. This was created by creating Python code within FreeCAD. So it gives a bit of an insight into how you can manipulate the models as well through code. First, I'll give you a quick demonstration. So this is a 3D model. I've also got a model of the Wi-Fi adapter, as you can see. So these are created by hand mainly, uh, just based on taking measurements of the actual devices themselves and creating a fairly realistic replica of those. And the, I'll just point out the file name as well, because this is going to be significant, although you can uh, modify your code so that it doesn't need to know the file name. But basically, I went through a few iterations. So this is called version 1.6, and that's included in the file name. And as you can see, it's in the model name as well. I'm going to go to the macros. And let's see, there's a, there's a few macros I created, but it's just this Animate Pico Wireless one is the one that I created. Just open it up here. I'll come back to that in a minute. For the map now, I'll just actually execute it as well. As you can see, there's a, a pop-up window appeared with a few different buttons. So this is all a cute GUI that I've created and it allows me to do various things. So reset is just going to move the position to the top with that flush and then the start position is going to tilt that slightly ready for the start of the animation so that it's not looking purely down. It's also going to move the backpack the Pico wireless back to its original position. I can show and hide the Wi-Fi module. I've also set it and I didn't use this in the video in the end but I've set it so if you see these pins you can hide all the pins and then you can share the pins. A feature I added as well. And then the main part is this, which is going to stack the Pico and this backpack together. And it's doing that through animating the backpack, moving it up, turning it round, and then it's going to move the Pico on top as well. And this is all done using FreeCAD and using code. The only other step I needed was that I used a screen recorder to actually record this as a video file, which then I was able to add using my video editor. So let's go and take a look at the code. Um, a lot of this is for the Qt Qt GUI um, using pie side and this is creating the buttons and activating the various parts and then there's a few functions that I've created and some of these elements I've borrowed other people's code so if you look there's um, a bit of code here that I've borrowed to rotate the view um, but most of it, I've actually just instinctively worked out with the help of the Python console. So I've got the Python console turned on here, as you can see at the bottom. I'll just bring this up a little bit. If you go in and manipulate a model, then as you do, you'll see these commands. And they're all commented out, but these would allow you to you can just literally just copy and paste these into your code 
Now, for instance, if you wanted to hide the model, if I hide the bot Pico body this time. So what it's done, you see there's a GUI selection, add selection, selected the uh, the document and then the body element note that it doesn't actually necessarily follow this because this is being renamed so it's still using the original body reference but it selected that and then the GUI.run command to turn on that toggle the visibility of that thing and then with a, a bit of this and, and maybe a bit of googling I was able to figure out how to do all the various parts um, so you can literally just copy and paste those so we could probably see that if we look at how we hide the backpack so it should be toggle Wi-Fi is the name of the function that I need I've got Wi-Fi. Here we go. So you can see how this compares GUI selection, add selection, and in this case it's body 001 because this is the the Wi-Fi body instead, which is body 001, and then toggle visibility, and then the clear selection just means it's no longer selected. Uh, so. One of the other things I did was the show and hide pins. Look at the body of the Pico. You've got linear pattern five, which is this one, which shows with the pins. So when we select linear pattern five, that is with the pins. And then the other one is pad 13, which is this one, which is without the pins. So literally what it's doing is switching between this view and this view. It takes a, a short while to run because there's quite a lot of these pins. So there's quite a bit of code in it running in there. And so the actual animation is by moving the placement. So, for instance, move to start, you'll see that it runs, selects the object, removes the app placement, and then gives it a vector, and it's also doing a rotation as well. And then to create the graphical interface, uh, I've just used PySide.qt GUI, and it's just added all these various different buttons using the QV box layout, which is the vertical box layout. And it just puts one, as you can see, one of the elements above the other in a row. So that's just a very short introduction into how you can manipulate things using FreeCAD and using basically Python code. You can run it on the on this command line, so this is like having a REPL, or you can add it to a file such as this one create them all through the macro editor so you, you can record them or you can just launch this macro editor and it saves it in whatever your macro directory is set to as i said just a very quick introduction i hope that's been useful uh, if it has then uh, please click like and if you're interested in these sort of do a little bit on FreeCAD, 
a little bit on coding, but a lot more of the, the maker projects as well. So looking at the Pico and Raspberry Pi. So if, if you're interested in those, please check out my channel. Give me a subscribe and click that notification icon if you're interested in seeing those sort of things in future. And I look forward to seeing you on another future video. Thanks for watching.